you have 10 boxes that contains balls with each of the ball weighing 10 grams precisely. Now among the boxes, one of the box comprises of defective balls with each defective ball weighing 9 grams. You have been provided with an electronic weighing machine but you are allowed to use it only once. Can you find the box with the defective balls? The puzzle looks difficult but by the time you understand the solution you will find that it was way easy than you were thinking. For convenience sake, let's name the boxes from 1 to 10. In order to solve this problem, you have to leverage the fact that you know exactly what each good ball is supposed to weigh and what each defective ball is supposed to weigh. Many of us instinctively will take one ball out of each box and try to find a way to make it work but the trick is to take different number of balls from each box. The number of balls you pick from each bag is equal to the box number. For example, pick one ball from box 1, two balls from box 2, three balls from box 3 and so on and finally 10 balls from box 10. In total you will have 55 balls. If all of the boxes have good balls then the total weight of these balls would be 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus till plus 10 times 10 which is equal to 550 grams. This is because each ball weighs 10 grams. 550 grams is not possible because we are already told in the puzzle description one of the box comprises of defective balls with each defective ball weighing 9 grams. So this is the catch to solve this puzzle. If box 1 has defective balls then the total weight should be 1 gram less than expected. It is because only one ball weighing 9 grams. If box 2 has defective balls then the total weight should be 2 grams less than expected it is because two balls weighing 9 grams similarly if box 3 has defective balls then the total weight should be 3 grams less than expected it is because three balls weighing 9 grams so once you weigh the set of chosen balls find out the difference between the total weight and the expected weight that number represents the box number which contains the defective balls by following these simple steps, we can solve this puzzle and defective box can be identified with single way. There are four prisoners. All four prisoners will be freed if at least one of them correctly guesses the color of the hat on his head. They can't speak to each other and they can't touch each other. However, if they take part and one of them gives a wrong answer or none of them can work out the answer at all, then their sentences will be doubled. They are told that there are four hats, two white and two black. Each man will have a hat placed on his head while blindfolded. When each man is wearing a hat, the blindfolds will be removed. The prisoners will not be able to see their own hats and the only way they can work out what color hat they are wearing will be from looking at the hats the other prisoners are wearing. All they have to do to win their freedom is for one of them to work out what color hat he is wearing. But there is a twist. To make it more interesting, three prisoners stand in a line facing a brick wall. The prisoner at the back, say A, stands on a box and can see both of the prisoners in front of him say B and C. Prisoner B stands on a smaller box and can only see prisoner C who in turn can only see the wall. The fourth prisoner D stands on the other side of the wall and can see nothing of the other prisoners nor his own hat. They are not allowed to turn around or converse in any way. There are no mirrors and they all know that there are two black hats and two white hats and that there are four people. The prisoners are told that they have five minutes and to call out as soon as one of them thinks he knows for certain what color hat he is wearing. And remember if just one of them gets the answer wrong they will all have their sentences doubled. One of the prisoners says I know the color of my hat. 
and solves the riddle which prisoner is that the placement of the prisoners in the room is as the following can you solve this riddle feel free to pause the video and give a try before checking the solution Let me explain the solution now. Each one of the prisoners knows that there are four hats, two black and two white. If prisoner A observes that prisoner B and C have the same colored hats, he would assume that he has the opposite color and solve the riddle. However, since prisoner B and C have different colored hats, prisoner A doesn't say anything. After waiting about four minutes, prisoner B calls out the right answer. He can see that C is wearing a white hat. If B was wearing a white hat too, then A would have seen two white hats and would have known that his hat was black. As A didn't say anything, B knew that he and C must have different color hats on and as C's hat is white, B knew that his hat must be black. Through this logical approach, prisoner B could able to answer the right hat color and all four prisoners will be freed. Think that you have two identical ropes, which are non-uniform in composition. Each rope takes 60 minutes to burn, but the ropes are not identical meaning 90% of the rope may burn in 5 minutes and rest 10% may take 55 minutes or any such composition. You don't have any watch but a lighter. How will you calculate 45 minutes? So I will repeat the puzzle. You have two identical ropes which are non-uniform in composition and each rope takes 60 minutes to burn but their composition is non-uniform. Meaning 90% of the rope may burn in 5 minutes and rest 10% may take 55 minutes or 80% of the rope may burn in 5 minutes and rest then may take 55 minutes or any such composition. You don't have any watch but a lighter. So the question is how will you calculate 45 minutes? As it is told in the question, the ropes are non-uniform. It means that if you cut a rope in two off, then both of may not take 30 minutes each to burn. But on a whole, the rope will take 60 minutes to burn. This approach is not going to help. So in order to calculate 30 minutes, you only need one rope. So what you can do is burn the rope from both ends. It will take the rope 30 minutes to burn completely. Even though it is non-uniform, but if you burn on both the sides, it's definitely going to take 30 minutes because the composition does not matter since you are not burning the rope from one side. So in order to calculate 45 minutes, the one rope is not sufficient. You need two ropes. Let's call the ropes A and B and follow the below process in order to measure 45 minutes. What you have to do first is burn rope A from both ends and rope B from one end. So rope A will completely burn in 30 minutes. So because it is put on fire from both the ends. As we saw in the question itself, the rope takes 60 minutes to burn. Since you are burning on both the sides, the whole rope will burn in 60 minutes. So when rope A is burned completely, you have already measured 30 minutes. But the rope B would have burned for 30 minutes. It does not mean that the rope B is off burnt. But it has already taken 30 minutes and the remaining portion of the rope will burn in another 30 minutes. So at this point, lit the other end of rope B as well. It will take another 15 minutes for rope B to burn completely. So that's how you are going to measure 45 minutes. So I will repeat the solution. So what you are supposed to do is first burn rope A from both ends and rope B from one end. So rope A will completely burn in 30 minutes because it is put on fire from both ends. 
when rope a is burnt completely rope b would have burnt for 30 minutes so it does not mean that rope b is off burnt at this point lead the other end of rope b as well it will take another 15 minutes for rope b to burn completely so that's how we have measured 45 minutes An Arab sheikh tells his two sons to raise their camels to a distant city to see who will inherit his fortune. The one whose camel is slower will win. The brothers, after wandering aimlessly for days, ask a wise man for advice. After hearing the advice, they jump on the camels and race as fast as they can to the city. What does the wise man say? So let me repeat the puzzle. An Arab sheikh tells his two sons to raise their camels to a distant city to see who will inherit his fortune. The one whose camel is slower will win. The brothers, after wandering aimlessly for days, ask a wise man for advice. After hearing the advice, they jump on the camels and race as fast as they can to the city. What does the wise man say? The wise man tells them to switch camels. Let's check how this will work. Each son owns a camel. Let's call them camel A and camel B. If camel A is slower, son A gets the fortune. If camel B is slower, son B gets the fortune. Neither of the sons wants to enter the city first because they won't get the fortune. When they switch camels, son A is now riding his brother's camel camel B and son B is riding his brother's camel camel A. Now they each want the camel they are riding to get to the city first. If son A wins the race on camel B, that means his camel, that is camel A, was slower and he wins the fortune. The same is true for the other way around if the second son wins the race on camel A. Thus the suggestion given by the wise man is tell them to switch the camels so that the task will be completed soon. There are eight pills. They are all of the same size and color. One pill weighs slightly more and is poisonous. You have a balanced scale and can only use it twice. Or can you find the poisonous pill? Let me explain the solution now. First of all, split the pills into the following groups. So group 1 must contain pill number 1, 2, 3, group 2 must contain 4, 5, 6 and group 3 must contain 7 and 8. For your first weighing, put 3 pills on one side, 3 on the other, leaving 2 set aside. If one side is heavier, the poisonous pill is in that group but if they are the same, it is in the 2 set aside. If the weigh balances, then group 3 contains the poisonous pill. If they are different, the heavier group contains the poisonous pill. For the second weighing, pick the group the poison pill is in. Put one pill on each side and one off to the side unless it was in the group of two from before, in which case don't set any aside. If the scale says a side is heavier, that's the side that's got the poison. If you picked a three pill group and the scales are the same, then the one you didn't weigh out of that group is the poison. So to simplify, if the poison pill in group 3 balance 7 against 8, the heavier one is the poisonous pill. If the poison pill in group 2 balance one of the pills against another in the same group, if they are the same, then the poisonous pill is the one not weighed. If they are different, the heavier one is the poisonous pill. Only two balances required to find the poisonous pill.
A farmer lives on one quarter of his farm, the area marked A. He decides to divide the remaining three quarters of the farm between his four sons. How should he do this if the area and shape of the four farms must be exactly the same? You can achieve this by adding eight matchsticks. Let me repeat the puzzle. A farmer lives on one quarter of his farm, the area marked A. He decides to divide the remaining three quarters of the farm between his four sons. How should he do this if the area and shape of the four farms must be exactly the same? The condition is you have to achieve this by adding eight matchsticks, not less or more than that. This is one of the hardest puzzles and it requires out of the box thinking to achieve the correct solution. Feel free to pause the video and give a try before checking the solution. If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing to the channel. Let me show the solution with graphical representation. Hope you understood the solution. If you have solved this puzzle, then you are really smart. If you have not solved, keep practicing such kind of puzzles. Solving these kind of puzzles will definitely help in increasing the speed in finding the solution.